WCBI's NCAA tournament coverage of the MSU Bulldogs in Portland, Oregon is brought to you by Visit Columbus, the city that has it all. Monroe County Farm Bureau, Columbus Orthopedic Clinic and Outpatient Center, Aberdeen RV, family owned, family focused, and Bank First, a better way to bank. Mississippi State continuing its mission to get back to the Final Four, traveling 2,500 miles to the Pacific Northwest for step three of that mission. The Bulldogs get it done in style. Thanks to rig ridiculous NCAA rules that don't allow us to show highlights, here's your final score. Hale State Hoops is off to the Elite Eight for the third straight season, defeating Arizona State 76-53. It was a slow start for Big T, but finishing in dominating fashion, 22, po 22 points, 13 rebounds, 3 steals. She also broke some NCAA records in this one as well. And luckily for us, WCBI Sports' Courtney Robb was in Portland to watch Big T and the Bulldogs dominate the Sun Devils. Courtney, the second half was the difference again. What did you see change the game for the Bulldogs? Yeah, Tom, well, first I just want to say it certainly was not a bad first half for the Bulldogs by any means. They started things off with a 9-0 run against Arizona State, not to mention that they held them to no points for about three minutes there in that first half. Andre Espinosa Hunter shooting 12 points to lead the way for Mississippi State in that first half as well. But if you want to know what went right for Mississippi State in the second half, then I would have to point things to Tierra McCowan. She only had two points going into the break, but she would come out and tack on 20 more points in that second half, not to mention the amount of rebounds she had as well. And Jordan Danbury saying if there's one thing that this Bulldog team does well, it's going to be their second half comeback. We're known for our second half and finishing the game strong and going that extra length of time, you know, not really getting tired towards the fourth quarter, but we just, you know, changed our game plan. They had a lot of juice. We had a lot of juice, and we just started to execute more. Usually T and Lash is do most of the scoring, but, you know, in the first half, they really focused on them, and I was really just taking what the offense gave me and helping kind of alleviate, alleviate the pressure from them because in the second half, T.R. just went off. At the beginning, you know, it's very physical. By the end of the game, you know, I've been wearing on the opposing team for 20 minutes, so, I mean, your strength goes sometimes, and I just start scoring after that. Now Mississippi State will advance to their third straight Elite Eight, and the stage for that game on Sunday has yet to be set. The Mississippi State Bulldogs will be facing off against either South Dakota State or Oregon. That game's still going on right now, so we'll have to wait and see who Mississippi State will be playing in an early game on Sunday. Also, something of note, Vic Schaefer not taking his jacket off for the entire game tonight. I talked to Tierra McCowan about that, and she said that he just had so much trust in his seniors that I, he knew that they would finish out that game the way that he wanted them to. That's going to do it for me. Courtney Robin, Portland, Oregon. Tom, I'll send it back.